Hello everyone, I welcome you all for today's lecture on signals and systems. In this video, we will consider the concept of operations on signals. The task is to express the given signal x of t in terms of g of t, wherein x of t looks something like this and g of t, this is the signal. If I want to explain x of t, it exists from 0 to 3 and its amplitude is, highest amplitude is 3. And wherein the given signal g of t is, that exists from minus 1 to 1 and its amplitude is 1. I am very much excited to uh, discuss this numerical with you and I hope you are also evenly excited to learn this uh, beautiful uh, concept, beautiful uh, video. I would recommend you to watch this video till end so that uh, you can solve any numericals on these kind of concepts. So first, if you look at uh, x of t, the highest amplitude I said it is 3 and g of t, the, its amplitude is 1. So to get x of t, I must add 3 g of t's. Are you getting it? The highest amplitude is 3. So how do I get the amplitude 3 wherein the amplitude of g of t is only 1. So I have to add 3 of such signals. So that is why I have uh, drawn 3 signals over here. So first what I do is I want the amplitude 3 here. So I will write 1. The amplitude is 1. So I would call this signal as uh, g1 of t. So next I would call similarly I would call this signal as g2 of 3 and lastly I have got the signal I would call this as g3 of t. To get x of t from 0 to 1 its amplitude is 3. So how do I get 3? I have to add 3 signals. First signal has the amplitude 1, second signal also has the amplitude 1 and now I will go to third signal that also has the amplitude 1. Are you getting the point? All these have the amplitude 1. So if I add them up, I am going to get 3 as my amplitude. So next, if I move further, from 1 to 2, I need the amplitude 2. Are you getting the point? From 1 to 2, the amplitude I need is 2. So I must add 2 signals. So this was the first signal. I will continue this. Let the amplitude be till here, 2. And uh, the second signal I would also continue till 2. So that if I add these 2, from 1 to 2, I will get 2. Do I get third signal? No. I would end this signal by this point of time. Is that okay? So next thing, from 2 to 3. If you look here from 2 to 3, what I need? I need amplitude only 1. So I need only one signal uh, which has the amplitude 1. Is that okay? So everything stops at 3, I will stop it here. Next, do I need uh, two more signals which I have? I don't need because I need only amplitude as uh, 1. So I don't need these signals. So previous signal has already ended and this signal also ends over here. So this is what it is. Therefore x of t is equal to, I can write, I said x of t is equal to g1 of t plus g2 of t plus g3 of t. So this is what I am going to get now. But the task is I should know what is g1 of t, g2 of t and g3 of t. So if I could write the expressions for them, uh, I am done with my task. Is that okay? So what I do is, I will write g1 of t, which is this signal, is equal to, it is time shifted and scaled version of g of t. Are you getting the point? I said g1 of t is equal to time shifted and time scaled version of g of t. How do I write that? I would write g1 of t is equal to g of a t minus b wherein a is the scaling factor and b is the shifting factor. So I should, I should get what is a and what is b. If I could get them, the task is done. So how do I find a? So a is equal to, so the best uh, way is uh, the width of the original signal. What is the width of the original signal g of t? which exists from minus 1 to 1. The width must be 2. Minus 1 to 0, 1 and 0 to 1, another 1. So the width is 2. Is that okay? Next thing is, what is the width of the required signal? G1 of t, that is 0 to 3. So width must be 3. Are you, are you getting this? So this is uh, how I am finding it. The width of the original signal, that is 2 and width of uh, the required signal that is 3. So I would write a equal to 2 by 3. So that is how I find uh, the value of a. So next thing is I need to find a b. How do I find b? 
for that i need to equate the arguments of uh, g of a t minus b and arguments of g of t at their midpoints so that is the very important point i should equate the arguments at their midpoints so can i can can we do that shall we do that so a t minus b so i would write a t minus b at midpoint what is midpoint t equal to i would write here so what is the midpoint of this this is 1.5 1.5 i can write it as 3 by 2 is that okay so i would equate this with the original signal g of t that is the value t what is the midpoint midpoint t equal to so look here uh, this is the midpoint that is zero so i should equate these two things to get uh, b so just to substitute the values over here uh, a was 2 by 3 and uh, t is 3 by 2 that is the midpoint minus b is equal to t is 0 now so 3 and 3 would cancel 2 and 2 would cancel uh, i get to 1 minus b equal to 0 therefore b is equal to 1 are you getting the point so this is very important i would get b is equal to 1 so what is the i would put a rectangle for this also a is equal to 2 by 3 so ultimately what is my g1 of t which is equal to g of a t a is 2 by 3 t minus b b is 1 so this signal g1 of t is nothing but g of 2 by 3 t minus 1 are you getting the point even if not uh, I will make you understand that point uh, while writing the expression for G2 of T. We haven't finished yet. I also should write the expression for G2 of T. So, we'll try to, I'll uh, try to help you out in writing the expression. So, what I do is, I'll write G2 of T is equal to, it is again shifted and scaled version of G of T. So, I would write G of AT minus B. The next task is, I need to find what is A, what is B. So, if I could find that, that is end of numerical. So, what is A? It is scaled version. So, what is the factor? I said, consider the width of the original signal divided by, divided by the width of required signal. What is the original signal? That is G of T. What is the width of this? That is 2. I would write here. Divided by the width of the required signal. What is the required signal now? This is the required signal. What is its width? Again, 2. So, I would write 2 by 2. So, what is I'm going to get? I would get A equal to 1. Are you okay with this? I would get A is equal to 1. Similarly, I should also find what is B. To find B, I need to equate the arguments again at their midpoints. Are you getting the point? So, first I'll consider G of, uh, I mean, AT minus B. AT minus B at their midpoints T equal to. What is the midpoint of this signal? the signal exists from 0 to 2 its midpoint is 1 is equal to t what is the midpoint of that uh, original signal g of t it is 0 therefore i would put t equal to 0 so what i am going to get now just put the values a i got it as 1 and t is also 1 1 into 1 it is 1 minus b is equal to 0 so it is again uh, 1 minus b equal to 0 so b will be equal to 1 are you getting this point? So, if I substitute, I am going to get the expression for uh, G2 of T, which is equal to G of A T minus B. A is 1, T minus B. B is also 1. So, this is the second expression. The first expression was here. The second expression is this. So, now I need to find the expression for the last signal that is G3 of T. So, what would be G3 of T? Again, uh, we will uh, we'll consider the same concept. I would write G3 of T is equal to G of A T minus B. I need to find what is A, what is B. I hope by this point of time, uh, you are very much clear with the concept. You can find A and B on your own. If not, I will definitely help you out. So, how do I find A? A is equal to the width of the original signal divided by width of the required signal. What is width of the original signal? That is 2. And uh, what is the width of the required signal? That is 1. Therefore, it is 2 by 1. I am going to get A equal to 2. Is that, is that okay? Next, I need to find uh, 
the time shifting factor that is b. How do I find that? Equate the arguments of g of a t minus b with g of t at their midpoints. Therefore, a t minus b. What is the midpoint? t equal to. Signal exists from 0 to 1. The midpoint is uh, 1 by 2. Which is equal to t and its midpoint is 0. Why it is 0? Because I have to consider the signal and its midpoint is 0. Therefore, I would get midpoint as 0. So, let's equate them. So, a was 2 and t is 1 by 2 minus b minus b equal to 0. So, just cancel them out. Again, I am going to get 1 minus b equal to 0. Therefore, finally, b is equal to 1. So, what did I get ultimately? So, just substitute these values. I am going to get the third expression that is g of a t minus b. a is 2 t minus b. b is 1. So, this is nothing but third signal. So, ultimately, I have to add up all these three signals. This is, these two are the first signal. This is the third signal. I need to add them up. So, ultimately, I would write the expression for x of t in terms of g of t. Therefore, x of t is equal to, so what is the first expression, which was g of 2 by 3 t minus 1. So, I would write g of 2 by 3 t minus 1 plus the second signal. Second signal is g of t minus 1. I would write it here, g of t minus 1 plus the last signal, which is g of 2 t minus 1. So, this is the final expression, final expression for x of t, uh, x of t in terms of g of t. So, this is how I get the expression. Is that okay? So, I'll just put the box again. So, this is the final expression for x of t in terms of g of t. I hope I'm very much clear over here. So, this is how I solve the numerical. And uh, I hope you people have understood. If there are any doubts, please let me know them in the comment section and I would definitely answer those comments. And if you, if you like the video, please uh, like the video and share to your friends as well. And do subscribe to our channel NG Classes for even more interesting videos on these concepts. Thank you everyone for watching.